Hey guys, what's going on? So then I'm King back here today for another redstone tutorial. And today I'll be showing you how to make a toll gate. God damn, something is inside. I don't know what's wrong with it. Like zipper elevator. If you haven't seen the zipper elevator, please go check out that episode. And I'll show you how to make an elevator in Minecraft. Sometimes it works, sometimes it gets stuck. There we go. And also, if you haven't checked out my uh, automatic trading post, I would suggest going out and checking out that video as well. It's a pretty cool design. So today we'll be making a toll booth. So what you're going to need is four redstone desks, four redstone repeaters, no, four redstone torches, three redstone repeaters, one comparator, one redstone block, Two hoppers, a chest, an iron door, and smooth sandstone. So let's get ready to get this thing on the way. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is decide where you want your iron door to go. So I'll just put it, I'll put it like right here. Then what you want to do is take your blocks and build up and around it like this. And then right here is where your hoppers are going to go. So what you want to do is take three down, three down. You're going to put one, one block here. Put a hopper on top of it. A block here. Pop on top of that, make sure they're all facing straight down, and put your chest. So let me cover that back up for now. So that is how it's all going to be. Drop an item in there, it'll open the door, yay, fun. So let's start talking all the redstone goodness of the thing. Alright, so now what you have to do to make the hole for the redstone is in front of the door, you want to dig three down, six across, so one. Two, three, four, five, six. You want to dig out these blocks. You come down here, dig out the blocks underneath the door. However, do not remove this block that the door is on. Get that back. Now you put two blocks here. Now you're ready to set up the redstone goodness. Alright, so now what you do. Is grab your comparator and have it, oop, oop, have it facing that way, and also a repeater facing no, not that that open the door. Repeater facing that way. Then we want to do grab a block, put it here, get redstone underneath that, place a block here, and then a redstone torch here. And now above the redstone torch, you place a block, redstone torch here. Right, so torch on top, and then you want to fill in these blocks above it. Okay. So now what we want to do is have a repeater flowing into the door, and set all four ticks. So then you have that set up and rare and go. All right. The next thing you want to do is down where the redstone is, I think. You want to place a block. Then on that block, you want to place a redstone torch. And two away from that, you want to place a repeater facing that way. There's a block. And redstone on top of that. So that's wired like that. Oh, isn't this fun? Okay. <laughs> So let's see what we're going to do. Alright, so now what you want to do is the block behind here. You dig down. And then you want to put your block of redstone and your redstone dust connected to there. So that wires up. Alright, so now what do we do? Alright, so the last step is setting this whole thing up to make sure it all works fine and dandy. So it works similar to the way the trading post does with the hoppers. So what we're going to have to do is get your four beds and a stack of 64 of uh, whatever you want your currency to be. I'm going to go down and go into this one and place 63 of that currency in there and leave the one out. And that, put that in. So when it goes down there, it this will send a signal to this which allows this one to pass into there, giving it a full set which will open up the door. And to remove it down to the bottom chest where you can loot it later, it'll set off this signal going into here, 
it allows it to pass through one more. And the all this redstone does will open up the door, so let's close this up. And let's give it a test run with the one of your currency that you should have left over. So let's just drop that there. Oh, that was quick. Uh, so it might be messed up with that. Or it's just lag because first time you work with the thing, it may send off a little bit of lag. Yeah. Um, it's pretty quick. Um, you might have to play with it a little bit to slow down the speed. Let's make sure like no more than one person can get out. So what you want to do is you can go down and look in this chest. There is another quartz that will be gone through. So you drop one in. The sewer activates the signal. The signal goes through up to the open door, sets this through, sends another quartz down there. So that is the design for a toll booth, a pay toll booth. If you want to make sure people have to pay to get in, is how you do it. You can set your currency, whatever you want it to be. And that is all for this episode. So I thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like. It would be greatly appreciated. As well as comment down below if you want to see any other redstone designs built. And that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you got something out of this. And I will see all of you guys later. Bye.